and good morning everybody it is a cold crispy snowy morning out here in new hampshire so i hope wherever you're at it's a beautiful morning just watch the beautiful sunrise today i got this raven p25 now these come out there's two different models there's the p25 and then there's the mp25 which is the later model these were produced right up until 1991 when unfortunately the factory burned down so if you're lucky enough to have one of these so-called Saturday Night Specials in your possession, good for you because they're not making any more of them. They could be a knockoff company making one, I'm sure there are, but these, the originals are not being pumped out and the factory is done for, so good for us, right? This one is in, I don't know. I, I like, I, I love this, I like the bling bling stuff. I don't know why as I get older, it's like the, the stuff that catches my eye, but this is a, a cheap weapon. This is a weapon that can be had for a hundred bucks or under. So that's wicked cheap. But if you want to buy a pocket pistol and it is indeed a pocket pistol, this is my right hand. And you can see it fits right in there. Check it out. Uh, you can see the original Raven, Raven arms out of Cali going back to Cali no I don't think so it is a 25 auto is the p25 you can see that so if you look this thing uh, looks a little beat on but this thing has a pretty neat history this gun I found uh, as you know I'm a police officer so as when I was a detective I was in a, a house that had burnt down and I kicked some stuff around and I found this gun and it was so charred up. The grips were burnt off. It didn't have the mag. I approached the homeowner. This gun had absolutely zero to do with, with anything. This is just something that I found. Let me just make sure it's clear because I keep pointing at my hand. Yep. So I asked them, hey, you know, what's up with this, with this gun? And they were like, hey, we didn't even know we had that. We don't want it in the house. Um, this was, you know, a, a family heirloom, so they sold it to me for a dollar. I ordered some grips, and I ordered a mag, brought it home, put it on the buffing wheel, and I started with, you know, a grit, and then I worked my way down, and I think it came out pretty cool. So that's the story behind this one. This one didn't cost me much. It cost me grips and a mag. Here's the mag. Oh, almost lost a 25 kill round. Here's the magazine, uh, not the best mag in the world. I had some issues with it uh, on grabbing, it wouldn't grab the rounds. So I had to buff, you can see where I buffed it, the corner off a little bit. Now it works really well. These guns, even though they're cheap, like I said, wicked cheap, they're under, you know, you could probably get one of these for 50 bucks, maybe. Uh, they're known for their reliability and they're known for their lethality. The 25 cal round, uh, well, well placed, will definitely do the job. It's the reason why these came about, these 25 cals and these, these pocket pistols. 1968, the feds cracked down on imports of pocket pistols. So this company, this guy, I believe his name was Jennings, decided to open a company where he would sell these pocket pistols and he kind of cornered the market on them and that's how these came about and they did call them a saturday night special because everyone kind of carried them in the pocket they were a cheap weapon and uh they were known to be uh or many people met their demise at the other end of this you figure most shootings happen within six to ten feet so a 25 cal hollow point within six to ten feet i can imagine would be pretty lethal I mean, if a 22 can do it, why can't this do it? It's got the Euro mag release, so European mag release. Not a big fan of that. I'm just so used to American style where your magazines kind of readily either on the thumb or a little bit higher. It just seems more natural to me. If you have one of these and you want to know, hey, is mine an old one or a newer run? A couple ways to tell if you want to look at your stamp side notice mine says p-25 the new one's going to have an m there so an mp-25 also flip it over let's look at that 
the safety. So the safety on the new ones, the old ones are gonna have a slide safety, front and back and right to left. The new ones, the safety flips up into the slide. So it literally prevents this slide from moving. I've noticed that when this safety is on, this it will not allow the slide to clock, which is, which is pretty cool. I don't know, it's kind of unusual. Take the safety off and it'll let that slide clock. So um, where it is, don't dry fire this. I've looked at the mechanism. I couldn't really tell you why, why you can't dry fire it. It's, it's very basic. I'll take it apart and show you, but it's a basic mechanism. So I don't really see what, uh, if you can dry fire all these modern weapons with their really, you know, um, you know, stuff, stuff spec down to a thousand, you know, percent and it, it is so precise and there's no problems with them. I don't see why you can't dry fire this. Although don't, you know, not a gun you're going to take out and do drills with or anything like that. Also, I've been a little derelict while I popped this out with the videos. Um, I had to get all my TPS reports submitted. You know, I got this guy, Lundergaard, riding me like Seabiscuit. So I was out for a little bit, but I'm back now. Get some free time. When you break down this weapon, a couple things you got to do, and I've already forgot the first one. First one you have to do is you have to fire the weapon. So I've already fired it, good to go. All right, so make sure you fire it. But, you know, not fire it literally. Make sure it's empty and you dry fire it. Take a round. I'm going to poke the round right into this little section here and that's gonna it's just on a spring and I can feel already when I do that the gun wants to separate so once you do that allow the gun to separate but I'm gonna take my finger and I'm gonna put it on here because as soon as this comes free this is gonna want to shoot out if I let this go it's gonna shoot up and hit the camera so I'm just gonna you could you could hear that that flung up and hit my finger now let's separate the that, did you hear that gun when I took it apart? It sounded like a, like a burp. It's crazy. It's because it's old. So this came flying out. This is your recoil spring. It, it legit does not sit. It doesn't have a rod or anything. It just sits right back into this. So you just slide it back in there. So I'm going to leave that apart. And let's take apart what I was talking about in the firing pin and all that. It's a very simple mechanism. Before I take it apart, let me flip it over and show you. So this is that little spring-loaded piece that we have to keep our finger on. I'm gonna dump that, dump the spring, and then I'm gonna dump the firing pin out. That is it. You wanna talk about basic. You know, maybe that's why I like it, because I'm basic, I don't know. But I do like it. You can see my, uh, my gloves are already mocking it up pretty good, but the finish is, I just like this. I like the finish. Be shiny, I like it. All right, so let's put it back together. Simple, simple. Of course, when I say simple, that means something's gonna go wrong. Take the firing pin first, short end first. Short end the club, slide that in. The smaller of the two springs, if you wanna know which one, this is a large one, a small one. The small one's gonna go in to that firing pin, sort of cutout area there, the firing pin well. And then you're going to put this in, make sure your hook is facing to the back like that, because that hook is going to have to catch the frame. All right, so once that's done, I'm just going to set that back down. I'm actually going to lay it down because you can't, the sights are not flat. And then let's put the recoil spring back in. Like I said, it doesn't have a rod or anything it rides in. It just goes in and then goes into that little machined out hole machine hole nope and of course when I did that because I was a little careless I just flung a spring out so let's put that back in look what you did you little jerk and I'm gonna put that back like that okay so I'm gonna hold all this together because I'm holding this down with my finger I'm gonna pick this up this is always a trip to try and put this thing back together but we will endeavor to do that correctly. So once we snap that in, I'm gonna flip this over just so I can show you something. So I'm wearing gloves because I've done this twice before and see how you have to wrap your fingers around there. So I've got my fingers wrapped around. 
right around here and here is the frame and here is the slide and you can see there's that locking mechanism now as soon as i take pressure off that locking mechanism via this 25 cal 25 auto round it's going to suck onto that frame and when it does it's going to take your finger skin with it it did that to me and that's why i have gloves on because it hurt like like a mofo and it pulled like all my finger skin in there so you know let's try it here so cinderella story coming out of nowhere we're gonna push this down and then already it wants to suck it back in so i'm just gonna kind of let it happen and it clicks in and that's it it's back together really easy real simple safety's on let's function test the weapon so it will not cock pull the trigger will not go off put it to fire it cocks and fires i'd like to safety not safety check but just check one more thing i'd like to put some rounds in here and cycle some rounds through just to make sure that this thing is good to go it is so there's one in there let's go through them not bad um so i like it you know for for a cheap gun under a hundred buck how can you go wrong even if it is a hundred dollars i mean if some if someone came up and said hey you want this for a hundred bucks would you say no i wouldn't i'd buy it of course i've got a problem with buying guns all right so like i always say keep your head low in the foxhole and i'm gonna see you on the next one and i got a lot of cool stuff coming thank you for the love and support